This is the new Metropole du Grand Paris Metropolis charging network. We're in Mont Rouge, and as you can see, they're proud of the fact that you pay what you charge and not by the minute, which is pretty common in France or in Paris in the past. So, yeah, here we are. Let's try it out. Wow, look at this machine talking English. Did you change the setting yep. to English? Yep. Ah, okay, so it started in French. And there's even a button for Spanish. Uh, wow, look at this. So, charging cards don't work? Is that uh, yeah, the story? Wow, so this is super interesting. You can choose Eco, which might be cheap normal and boost 150 kilowatt and it says it even informs you you need an 800 volt vehicle to do this and look what we brought that -da. yes <laughs> beautiful so boost please oh, operator badge yeah. so my operator badge Wonder? oh wait Choose your payment yes. button. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let me try the Vattenfall first from the Netherlands slash Sweden. Authorization in progress. As you can see, I use this Vattenfall in charge. I don't expect it to work. Light is switching. Light is switching. Wow. Okay. Identification. Yeah. So now next up, BMW. So we need to totally initiate a new process. It doesn't ask for a new card. Wow, these, these touch screens. Oh, these touch screens today. Okay. Operator badge, BMW. Swipe it. Right here. What is going on? It's not even reading it. It's not even saying something. So where do I need to hold it? Well, this is a bit French. Ah, in progress. progress. Well, not very convincing, but I don't want to blame before we have begun. Charge request accepted with my BMW badge. No idea what the price will be. Your charge is in progress, but we weren't even connected yet. None there is uh, plugging in. Your charge is in progress. Yes, you heard full the click. You felt something? Well, let's see, let's see. There we go. Uh -huh. Power. I mean, how can you even come up with this stuff? Boost? So I wonder, does the BMW card knows that we chose boost? Does it will does it charge us a different tariff because we're charging fast? Yeah, we 60, need to test this. I, 60 cents per I, I don't believe it. But okay. what is going on here? We are charges in progress. So even though it said charges in progress. Uh, the screen just changed and there is no wow so we are not charging but the light is blue we are connected we are charging for two minutes already but there's no info whatsoever not even the state of charge <laughs> hello mini electric so we're not doing anything, but our charge is in progress. Welcome to Paris. Even though the chargers are all brand new. It's still as it used to be because it's not working. That's how I remember Paris, unfortunately. It locked in. Brand new infrastructure. And also these RFID readers are slow and weird and why do you have two you know it gives the impression that the screen might do it 
which in France is pretty common. Wow. 0 0.2 kW. And nothing again. I want to stop this session. I want to stop. Even stopping is difficult. This is so typical. Higher? No. Stopped. Wow, we have completely stopped charging and it still asks us for the badge. Welcome to Paris. So super interesting, the pricing is almost the same. But you even pay a parking tariff. So the charging process is still ongoing, even though we're not connected, we could have been physically gone. And nobody can stop this machine from charging because we have the badge that started everything and it's not being recognized. Ah, now the charging is stopped. And we tried this three times already. Total energy, zero. Let's try the next machine because there are actually two chargers that can deliver the fast speed and then there are several that can deliver less speed but who understands this nobody knows why all the difficulties nobody knows so our second try this is charger number two still 150 kilowatt we're gonna choose the boost tariff again of course because we want full speed ah so this rfid reader is better than the other one Really? Please wait a few moments. It's flashing. And we're just waiting and waiting and waiting. The lock, the plug is still locked. Charge request accepted. Your charge is in progress. We weren't even connected yet. We listened to some clicks. So the clicking sound is always interesting. But this interface, aha, uh -huh. 0 0.3. We haven't seen that before. What is the car showing? Nothing. Ah, 16. Yeah, it's ramping up. It is ramping up. Oh, yes. So, there's a ramp up. Let's see. I wonder what that QR code does. I will test it later. I'm in Paris. And we're charging at 100 kilowatt speed. Which is the fastest I've ever charged in Paris. It's not as much as promised. But it's working. Oh yes it is. But the car even says something else. Uh, look at the structure that they invented. Ah, there's even one Chademo, that's the slower one. So interesting. So this charger had an RFID reader that was very much broken and this charger seems to work but for some reason even though we chose the high tariff it seems limited because I wouldn't expect a car to be limited to 100 kilowatts at this state of charge which is also interesting there's no state of charge at the charger it doesn't show you how full your vehicle is so you have only 10 free minutes to park here and then you pay 3 euros per 15 minutes. So you better bring Ionic 5 only here <laughs> because otherwise you're gonna end up broke. This seems to be a screensaver because it says touch me here which is already hilarious to start with. 
but the painful thing is that typical French I touch it and <laughs> the response is either slow or I don't know what to tell you but yeah these screens I've told this before on other videos I'm not a fan of touch screens okay so I was putting too much pressure you have to push very light pressure only very French it's also know. very funny that 50 kilowatt but that's Chadema only so the echo is only for oh no we can also choose it but why would you because then you pay more in time fine because the 10 minutes will not bring you anything oh yeah maybe <laughs> you, you stopped it yeah okay so uh, yeah let's not make it to 10 minutes let's stop and the screen actually works fine Nonder's technique is better today with the RFID really so if you're nearly at the maximum 10 minutes it's also a scary game you really want to ah. stop it well that was fast sort of Ta-da! Nine minutes, nearly 13 kilowatt hours. Yeah, the touchscreen. So I'm not a friend with these touchscreens, and Nander is uh, very capable. Boost again. We're gonna boost. Operator badge again. It's funny that you need to choose what kind of badge you're gonna Love use. Okay. Please wait. None is gonna plug in anyway. Try to try to speed up the process, huh? Interesting. Not bad cable management. Let's see how long it lasts, though. We'll come back next yes, year. It's online. So looks like the ramp up has started. 